how does one make an unforgettable ad or brand content for that matter remember see these <laughs> Look down. Back up. Can I get a kangaroo instead? Gunda, I got a gunda, man. Think of the sheer volume of ads there are in the world, and yet you remember only a handful. Why is that? My name is Kush, and I'm here to break down the anatomy of a good ad. First of all, why do people still make ads? Since ages, human mind has been hooked to stories. and ads are just that stories about a product or a brand while products exist in the physical world brands exist in the minds of the consumers and ads are the most potent medium to build that brand world one story at a time ads are the most potent weapon in changing people's perceptions if they think a about a product before watching the ad you can make them think b after they have watched the ad How powerful is that? And making ads is fun. Thank you. Let's look at the three functions that an ad must fulfill to qualify as a good ad. A good ad must be noticed, must be remembered, and must persuade action. For an ad to be noticed, first and foremost, it has to be relevant. Relevancy comes from two things: who are you talking to and what are you telling them. Let's talk about the who part first. We will take an example of a health food brand. Marketers often define their TG as 25 to 45 year old men and women living in tier 1 cities who like to eat healthy. This is what I call an attitude based definition. A step up from here is behavior based definition. Like 25 to 45 year old men and women living in tier 1 cities who read the back of the pack first before they eat anything this captures an interesting behavioral nuance of how the audience interacts with the category but the best of all is what i call feeling based definition a good example of this is the whole truth foods a brand that i love and love to use this is how they chose to define their audience instead people who hate being lied to about what goes in their food Suddenly, defining the audience this way gives them a strong sense of identity and your brand a strong purpose. In my experience, good audience definitions involve strong feelings like they feel guilty, they feel helpless, they feel frustrated, they feel elated, they feel proud. Try it for your brand. Now that we have defined the who part, let's talk about the what part. We know the old adage, people don't want quarter inch drills they want quarter inch holes in other words people don't buy features they buy benefits in order to find what benefit will resonate with your audience try the benefit laddering framework at the bottom of the ladder you have attributes basically what are the unique product or service features that you are offering one level up are functional benefits These are defined as what does your consumer get when they buy your product or service is it convenience or cheap prices a level above this are the emotional benefits they capture how does your consumer feel when they buy from you does it make them feel good about themselves in any way as we move up we come to transformational benefits how does your offering change your consumers lives does it make them a better parent a better friend or a better spouse Finally at the top of the rung we have societal benefits how does your offering change the society does it make the world cleaner greener or happier if you are a young upstart brand maybe you should aim at communicating a mix of functional and emotional benefits people need to know what you are all about first if you are a leader brand you can communicate more of transformational and societal benefits like coca cola does moving on to the next step of getting noticed relatability relatability can be achieved in two ways either you show someone like your audience or you show them someone who they aspire to be a good example of this would be fog versus ax while fog is all about practical grounded functional offering ax offers you a fantasy world the third 
and the most crucial pillar for an ad to be noticed is that it must be interesting. Here is where advertising becomes more art than science. There is no set formula to make your ad interesting. For starters, you can present a completely new POV in the category. Show unexpected use of the product. Have celebs doing unexpected things. Start with high drama. Show cultural nuance in a completely new light. Use the medium itself in interesting ways. Use exaggeration. Or have an interesting take on something topical. So on and on and on. Sky is the limit. To sum things up, I will borrow from Tanmay Bhatt. Incongruence is what makes things interesting. Incongruence is something that people don't expect to see. It just breaks the monotony. For example, take my most favorite ad of all time, Volvo trucks. Precision steering was a boring truth till someone put Van Damme on the top of the truck pulling off an epic split and suddenly the world was interested. Ah, I love advertising. The possibilities. Now that we have understood all that it takes to make an ad noticed, it is crucial that your ad be remembered so that customers think of you when they are ready to make a purchase. Don't worry, I've got you covered to help customers remember you. Number 1. Be focused in what you promise. While it is tempting to load your ad with multiple promises, consumer attention and memory are fickle. Stick to one key benefit that your product or service offers. Very quick has been doing wonders just talking about Chutki Men Chipkai over the years. The second thing that makes people remember an ad is brand distinctiveness. Just that you cannot do it for the very first ad. Brand assets need time to establish and that is done over years, sometimes decades. It took 30 years of consistent advertisement for Nike to establish the swoosh. What discipline! Be it a unique color, a cultural phrase, a crazy action, an audio signature or a jingle. Distinctive brand assets ensure that your ad is not mistaken for a bigger, more popular brand in the category. You might have heard, people forget what you said, but they never forget how you made them feel. It's true for ads as well. That brings me to the third and final point that helps your ad being remembered. Your ad must trigger strong emotions. There are many emotions that an ad can trigger. It could be nostalgia, positivity, romantic love, friendship, patriotism, parental love, sibling love, social concerns and most favorite of all, humor. Look for the cues in the culture about what emotion will resonate the most with the audience you are targeting. While the child-parent love story will appeal to moms, Gen Z audience might react better to mushy love or friendship stories because of the life state that they are in. Talk to your audience to find out what matters the most to them. Now that you have an ad that people noticed and remembered, what now? That's where we come to the third pillar, persuading action. It is easy to think of ourselves as artists who work on all the cool creative stuff. But as marketers and advertisers, our art is in the service of the product that we are advertising. In that sense, we are more of commercial artists. You can persuade your audience by having a clear brand integration. Ask yourself these four questions. Is the brand playing a pivotal role in my story? Am I reinforcing my brand name enough for consumers to remember it? Am I building on past brand associations that might be existing? Is there a clear indication of what I want the consumers to do next? Many a times, in the rush to tell a story, the brand gets pushed to the background. Watch out and don't let that happen. And that's it. This was a simple but not easy framework to help you come up with good content pieces that can take you to marketing immortality. Now, it's not necessary that any ad you conceive must check all the boxes that we spoke about. but. Taking as many of them surely helps. If this was helpful, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see such deep marketing content in the future. And if you are a brand looking for better content creation, reach out to us on the contact details given in the description below. I will see you soon with my next video. Cheers.